Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. In this video, we will know about a short story of Sister Nivedita. Miss Margaret Elizabeth Noble was a foreign lady who adopted India as her own and gave her all to India. Margaret was born of religious parents in Dublin in North Ireland on October 28, 1867. Margaret's quest for truth led her to meet Swami Vivekananda in London in 1895. That was her turning point in life. She then accepted Swami Vivekananda as her master. Margaret came to India in 1898. She studied Bengali and the Gita. Swami Vivekananda's thoughts and teaching influenced her greatly. She was hailed not as foreigner but as one of the soil who shared the joys and sorrows of the people of India. She was looked upon as the spiritual daughter of the Swami. She was admitted into Brahmacharya and given the name Nivedita. Sister Nivedita spoke to the men on the subject of education of women in India. She said, Your ladies must be educated. Your women are the finest in the world. So she started a school for girls in Calcutta in 1898, which is now called Ramakrishna Sarada Mission Sister Nivedita Girls School. She travelled throughout the length and the breadth of India, spread the message of the Swami. Arise, awake, struggle on, and rest not until the goal is reached. She repeatedly used the word nationality like a mantra. Sister Nivedita influenced Ivan Bardi, our national poet, she expected to meet his wife when he attended the Calcutta Congress session in 1906, but Bharati did not bring her, so she asked him about it. He said that the Hindus did not bring their wives with them to public functions, particularly to political meetings. She got angry and asked him how one half of the society could be liberated and other half of was being treated as slaves. These words transformed him into a champion of equality of gender. He adopted Sister Nivedita as his guru and in one of his poems he worships her as mother. But she did not live long to see the dawn of Indian independence. The strain of her labors affected her health and she breathed her last in Darjeeling on October 31, 1911. In memory of Sister Nivedita, People have raised a memorial in the lap of the Himalayas with the words, Here responds Sister Nivedita, who gave her all to India. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.